friends, Tracy here from Lavinia Stamps. Thanks for joining me again today for another demonstration. We're going to be using the gel press today along with brushes and distress oxides and some of our older stamps as well. Uh, so many of you have been asking on my Facebook page just to do a, a few more demonstrations using some of our original stamps. So I'm just going to concentrate on that for the next few days. Okay, so we've got our brayer here and we've got a Distress Oxide Tumble Glass and Shaded Lilac. So I'm going to use both of those initially on our background. So, inking up. I'm just going to cover that and then just run off any excess and then moving on to the shaded lilac take a little off I'm just going to run that gel press. Okay. And then using our brushes. Now I've added a lot of water to these and that gives us some really sort of pastel colours. Now if ever your your colours aren't moving or um, doing what I'm going to demo now it will probably be because there's not enough water you need the tiniest of amounts of brusho to um, to the buddy cups and then top it right up with water. The colours are so, so strong, so vivid. You don't need an awful lot at all. Okay, so I'm just going to pick a few colours here. Um, we've got, got a nice blue. So I'm just going to tap that. And then a little bit of the pink. And let's go with a little bit of purple. And a bit more of the blue. Okay. And you can see how watered down they are. Um, the colours are really quite sort of pastel. And then taking our multifarious card, I'm just going to pop that down over the top, give that a smooth over. And let's have a look. And there we go just something really nice and subtle. I've actually got a bit of mica running through that. I don't know where I've picked that up from, but that's absolutely fine. That's what tends to happen sometimes. So I think we should just go with it. I'm just gonna trim that down a little. going to leave um, a slight border around the edge. Okay, so I'm going to just use the heat gun a little just to finish that off. Okay, so 
We're going to use some of our old stamps again here today. This is Secret Garden. And this is one of our paths. It's our fairy path. And then I'm going to use some foliage as well, but this is our main focal point. So let's pop that down. I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne, the black. And then just pop that down around about the centre. Let that rest for a while, let that ink soak into the card. And there we go. And then taking the path, popping that down, inking up again in the black. And we're just going to line that up and pop that down underneath our doorway. Okay. So now we need a little bit of foliage going on. So let's take some ivy we'll kind of work our way through it we'll decide as we go along okay so I'm going to start with this one Okay, we've got medieval blue, so I'm going to ink up, I'm going to take off and then pop that down. It's quite a delicate coloured card this, so I have to be very careful I don't use anything too overpowering now. So stamp off. And again, and I might do the same at the bottom as well actually. Okay, now we're going to move on to our ivy stamp. Swipe that off. Okay, and now we'll go with Warm Breeze. So Inca. I'm going to just stamp that over the top. Again, from the top down, now just by building up your layers of color, you can see you're adding dimension to the um, to the card. Okay, so lastly, I'm going to go back to medieval blue and I'm just going to ink up the very end I'm 
not going to stamp off but I don't want much of this colour on because it's quite dark and harsh so very little okay so we need a little bit of foliage going round the door so I'm going to ink up one of our mini stamps and which colour shall we go? I think I'll start with Warm Breeze again, it's quite a safe colour because it's nice and light. In fact I'm going to even stamp off first and just build up gradually. We want the focal point to be our doorway so we don't want to take anything away from that. Okay, so I'm going to ground that a little, but again we're going to have to pick our colour very carefully. We just want a hint of colour, so we need to take a lot off the smoothie. just gently. You, all you're doing is adding a hint of colour. And that's just enough to ground it. Now moving on to some words. Again I'm going to use Warm Breeze. Now I've picked a stamp, a verse with a tiny font because again I don't want it to be overpowering. to go around the edge of the card now. So going back to medieval blue, just pick up that colour very gently and work your way around the edge of the card. I've got a little bit of purple on this smoothie as well, but that's fine. We've used quite a bit of purple in this anyway, so... Okay. So lastly, I'm just going to use a little bit of water um, and some of the brushos because I just want to pick up a little bit of depth around the edge just to make it stand out a little more make it look a little bit more solid And the fact that I've stamped in um, the Versafine, it's an oil-based ink, so it won't budge um, if I'm using water over the top. So that's another sort of good thing to bear in mind. So you can see just by adding that little bit of colour, it's given it more of a solid feel.
It just gives it a little bit of depth. Okay, we don't have to do too much. Okay, so lastly I'm going to just add a little bit of glitter. So using our glue pen, I'm going to dry that first just to make sure that all the ink is completely dry. Otherwise my glitter will stick to everything on there. And then just using my glue pen I'm going to dot from the tops of the trees and just shower down some glitter. It's quite a nice effect if I follow the line of the ivy falling down. And then a little coming up as well, just following the line again of the ivy coming up. That's what's nice about the glue pen, um, we get some really nice fine dots. So it's nice and subtle and we don't have it have too much glitter going on. Okay, so let's go with our blue and purple glitter and complement it well. I do tend to use this one quite a lot actually. I must work with a lot of blues and purples without even knowing. I think we tend to do that, don't we? We have our favourite colours. Okay, so that's given us a nice subtle hint of glitter. I hope you can see that. So there we have it guys, one of our older stamps again. Thank you for reminding me to use these older stamps because uh, they're a real pleasure to work with. Take care guys. Bye for now.